Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. So you have forgotten your password and you can log in to your computer, whether it's Windows 7, Windows Vista, or Windows XP. You got locked out. I'm going to show you how to bypass this. Now, I have seen many videos and some of them shows different software for different operating system. Well, I have a good program that works for all three operating system, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. I have tested it myself and it's free. It's called Hiron's Boot CD. The link is in the description box below. This is like a technician toolbox. Now you have to download the ISO and burn it into a disk. Once you burn it into a disk, you have to boot from that disk. If you want to learn how to burn an ISO image in Windows 7, the link is also in the description box below. Once you have burned the disk, place it in the CD-ROM and boot the computer. When you boot the computer, it's going to ask you to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Press the Enter key. The uh, Hiron's Boot CD menu will come up. Here, select Mini Windows XP and press Enter. Now, you will run the Mini Windows XP from your CD drive. You're not installing anything. Now from here, click on the HBCD menu icon in the desktop. Double click that and then click on Programs. From the drop down menu, select Password Keys. Then select Windows Login. Then click on Reset XP Vista. 7 user password. I have tested it on all three operating systems so it works good. Now notice that nothing came up here. That's because since we booted from the disk it changed the drive letters for the operating system. Everything is fine. All we need to do is change the drive letter to the local disk drive. By clicking on my computer we can find out what drive letter is my local disk. And here it is my local disk drive letter is letter D since we put it off the CD it changed the drive letters around but it's no big deal once you boot normally you should be fine now that we know the local disk drive letter we can go ahead and change it here instead of drive C change it to drive D and then click on reopen and now we have all the users here now select the user that is locked out or cannot log in and click on change password. Now here you can leave it blank or type a password. When you're done click OK then click on save changes then exit. Now restart the computer remove the disk and when the computer restart you should be able to log in with a new password. This is one of many features that this great CD brings. I'm going to try to exploit all the features from this disk on my future videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below. And keep in mind it's free.